Uh, today I come to you with the most harrowing news. In Beijing, Australian citizen Dr Yang Jun has received a suspended death sentence. We understand that this can be commuted to a life sentence following two years. The Australian government is appalled at this outcome. We will be commuting, communicating our response in the strongest terms. As a first step, I have directed my secretary to summon China's ambassador to Australia to express our objection. I want to acknowledge the acute distress that Dr Young and his family will be feeling today, coming after years of uncertainty. My thoughts, the Prime Minister's thoughts, and I think all Australians' thoughts are with them. Dr Young has been detained since January 2019 on national security charges. His verdict and his sentence have been subject to repeated delays since his closed trial on the 27th of May 2021. The Australian Government has advocated for Dr Young with China at every opportunity and at the highest levels. We have consistently called for basic standards of justice, procedural fairness and humane treatment for Dr Young in accordance with international norms and China's legal obligations. Australia will not relent in our advocacy for justice for Dr Young's interests and wellbeing, including appropriate medical treatment, and we will continue to provide consular assistance to him and his family. All Australians want to see Dr Young reunited with his family. We will continue to advocate uh, uh, and express our views to China. Obviously, this is the Chinese legal system. Uh, we are... Uh, and there are appeal uh, avenues available to Dr Young, which I don't intend to uh, preempt.